morning everyone this is mel from everything marmy how are you all this morning welcome to thursday october 12 2023 so today's video is a little different it's not a planner video it is what's in my paint bag my travel well it's quite large actually um i had a smaller one and my youngest daughter also wanted the hut, so of course I gave it to her. It was an exact twin of this one. And I don't even know what's in some of these pockets, to be honest. It's been that long since I've actually painted. Now this um, is, oh gosh, I, I, you know, I've had this for so long, guys. I, I can't even tell you where I got it. It was a two-pack uh, set, or maybe... It wasn't. Maybe I just bought them both at the same time. Um, and I just put a palm on it and another like keychain in black and white. Um, I think there might have been actually a third bag that I gave to my middle daughter. So today, instead of talking about planners and showing you how many planners I've touched, I mean, I've I've been to the table with my planners. I've done my outline for what I need to do today. Um, I've done everything sort of that I got to get done for the meantime. I haven't gone for my walk yet, which I need to do. Um, it's quite cold outside, quite cold. So <laughs> I thought a nice little tour of a bag would be nice. Now, this bag really pulls at me right away because it's got the black and gold, you see? It's got, uh, what is it? It is... a Sonia Kishuk. K-A-S-H-U-K bag. And I'm not, I, I'm not sure if it was an art bag or what could have been anything for anything. Um, but I found it convenient as an art bag. So let's start on the outside here. I've got a couple of pins. This is, of course, a planner pin in black and gold with the clip on the back. And of course, this, <laughs> I love this, this uh, tape. How many of you guys remember your tapes, your favorite tapes, like pulling, and then you'd like try to desperately reel it in and pray that you're, you know, that was the other thing that we would MacGyver with our pens here. We would put those in our tapes and, and kind of roll it and, and get our, <laughs> the memories, get our tapes like working again. So I've got that one on the outside. And like I said, I've got uh, this charm bobble here. And I'm pretty sure I made that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. And what I did was take a tassel that was a curtain tassel, and then I added some beads, tied it off. So I just repurposed things. So, um, and then this is just, I think, from the Dollar Tree, those two there. And then, okay, let's start on the outside here. So, um, I have other paints and stuff like that too, but this, let's see what's at the bottom here. Okay, I've got scissors. Uh, they open like this. Remember those? Um, If you're asking why do I have scissors in a paint bag, it's simple. If I want to cut out what I'm doing, um, then I can. Uh, like say, for example, if I'm making a small picture, it dries and I want to cut it out, then I've got it in there. So these are Winsor Newton's Professional Watercolors. This is, I'll take it out of the box. Sometimes I leave it in the box. I think these ones are fairly new. New as in, I haven't used them yet. So it tells you all about them. Uh, Winsor Newton is a really good brand, but I'm not a professional painter, guys, and I haven't painted in a while. So this cap comes off. Let me move this bag back. And right off the bat, you've got 
this that opens. You've got travel water bottle here and here is your little paintbrush. Now it's not my most favorite type of paintbrush, but it does have the fine tip. Windsor Newton is really well known. And so like if you're going out, um, if you're going out anywhere and you want to do some painting, you can. So it's kind of neat how it's all self-contained like that. You've got a little sponge here and then this lifts up, this lifts up, and yeah, see, I haven't even used this set yet. These are half um, boxes of paints, so I'll get them good and close, but I haven't even tried it. So these you would mix your paints on, and you could even use that. So you've got three different palettes. You've got water here, and this comes out. Of course, the brush has to come out first, then this comes out. And you fill that with water. And then you would use that to put a little water here because there's, see, it indents. And then you would go ahead and paint. Now, I don't, I don't like that, but I have different kinds of brushes, which I'll show you. Um, of course, I'm, like I said, it's been a long time, folks. It's been a long time for me. And also, you could pour water in here and just dip. So yeah, I think that's fairly new. And it's also got the, the, the hold, so you can actually put it on your hand or your other hand, depending on which way you want to, so you can actually hold and paint at the same time. That's one of the paint sets I have. And I think that definitely was an upgrade. It's an upgraded set. And these are all found on Amazon, guys. Okay? So that's what's in this side here. Usually if I paint with them, I take them out of their box. So then in here, in the side pocket here, these are terrible. Now, I think I got these off of Amazon. No, off of AliExpress. And they were a 12 set. I gave some to my daughter. Uh, the lids don't stay on, which annoy me. And I've lost this one. But you fill them with water. And then you simply squeeze. Now these ones, they're for bigger, like painting like entire pages and stuff, because this one does leak quite a bit of water. So like I said, they're not the best. I also have a spray bottle of water. This is distilled water, by the way. And I use distilled water in my paintbrushes too, for the most part, but you don't have to. Coming around to this side, I've got a whole pocket full of goodies here. Let's go through them. Okay, so this one here is a flat water brush. Do you see the water in there? Same kind of deal. And that you would paint, you know, and it is wet right now. And I do I have a paper towel here because I had been working on a project and I've just cleaned the brush, but um, I didn't kind of, I didn't really want to go ahead and do that with you all before I did the tour of the bag. So this one, these brushes are better. And as you can see, I didn't clean that one as good as I could have. Um, a little Dawn dish soap gets them right clean and it's full of water. So these ones are better. So when you're looking, like I think I got these ones off of Amazon. For one, they come right away. For two, if there's a problem, you can get a hold of Amazon and um, send them back if you have to. Look at that little guy. And this one was in a whole set. And they're not very expensive. That one was not cleaned at all. So, like I said, I just finished painting something with these. So, I will clean them better. But I looked up at the time, and I was like, 
I got to get out for my walk, which means I got to do a video. And I've been doing a lot of planner videos lately. And I thought, well, since I'm painting, I will do this bag. Um, but as you can see, I, I just need to clean those with a little Dawn dish soap. So I have just a Hobonichi pen. The reason I have this here is because uh, these colors, black, blue, and red, are really great to outline things. And when I paint, I can draw with them up through the center. Uh, it's 0.5 millimeter and very like precise writing. And these pens are really good for that, no matter the paper. Then I have a Sharpie pen. Very, very fine tip, but permanent. And Sharpie is water soluble. So if I use a Sharpie pen, I don't have to wait for it to dry. Same with the Hobonichi pen. It is a um, ballpoint pen, so I don't have to wait for it to dry. This is a Jelly Roll 0.8 pen. I have multiple Jelly Roll pens, but I didn't haul them out of this case here because I was using them on another project. So for example, I have, um, here's another 0.8. I've got 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and one millimeter. So I have them all but I only have so many things in this. This is a glass marker I got at the Dollar Tree, okay? And it is, let me just see. Yeah, it's dead, so it's garbage. But sometimes you can soak it in like um, rubbing alcohol and they'll come back. This is a Stadler dual side pen and it's just like a marker but this is not water soluble so if you put this down and add water it will smear and this is Jayco by uh, designed by designed by Jayco sorry pardon me and it's number 60 now I used to be part of the um, couple of art boxes and a lot of these pens came from then because believe you me for the price of one art box per subscription a month uh, sometimes it was the cost of the pen this pen some of the pens that I've got were really quite pricey and I'll, sh I'll show you that when we get over here for example with just a couple of colored pencils these pencils for example these luminance pencils um, were in a art box and I'm trying to think which ones um, the one with the pretzel sticker and I can't think sorry guys but um, these are really good um, the color is very vibrant the pigment is absolutely on point each of these pencils if you were to go to like if I go to an art store here um, probably each of these pencils are about $14 so um, but the box, like I said, was not that expensive. Now, these are recycled pencils. They look dirty, but it's actually the design on them. And it's actually kind of like a, it's not wood. It's like a, I don't know. So that's 4B, that's 2B, and that's 8B. Let's get the rest of this stuff out here. Okay, so what is this? This is a Staples... Marker. And what color is that? That's black. So that's permanent marker as well. This is a Windsor and Newton um, line. Um, so when you paint, you can come along and use this pen. And this is in point eight, so it's quite thick. Now, like I said, some of these I don't have the full sets for because I didn't get them as full sets. This is a brush liner. Again, that was in an art box. And this is an Edding 1880s Draw Liner 0.4. So they're all kind of the same as like the Microns. So I got a couple of Microns in here. You guys probably know of the Microns. I mean, this stuff I'm probably, um, 
see, I've got to be careful because I've got a regular pencil. I love regular pencils, by the way, but these should be put down um, instead of pointing up. So yeah, this one, this micron is 0.2. Now these here, these are chalk writers. But you know, I use these in Bible journaling. Um, and I have them in here because they're like just easily accessible from where I do that, you know? Um, so they're, they're just, I don't know, they're kind of clear. They're not chalky at all. They're very smooth. They're almost like uh, lip chapstick or something like that. Then these came from the Dollar Tree and they are glitter paint pens. And you shake them up. Hear that? And then you wait until the ink populates down to the tip. They're actually very quite good. Um, I, it says Craft Smart actually, so they're Michaels. Pardon me. Yeah, they're Michaels. This is just a basic highlighter. High, highlighter. And this is a, a Posca, Uni Posca. And it's a paint pen. So basically, if you're painting and you got black and, you know, so it's for art journaling, things like that. These are not cheap. And I have, I'm looking over at my, I've got a stationary um, carousel over to my right. And I'm looking over there and I've got like a couple of other Poscas. Um, but while you're building up your set, of course, you, and there's a, another chalk writer. So that's what's in there. And I'm going to put these pencils facing down so I don't stab myself. I hope you guys are doing okay. Tell me, what kind of creative crafts do you have on the go? So that, there's a pocket down here, but I've got nothing in that. And also one down here, and I've got nothing in there. So in the middle of the bag, I have, in this pocket here, I've got a glue pen, which has lost, nope. I had to cut it down quite a bit so the glue comes out because what happens with these glue pens these are Dollar Tree and they dry out so you have to kind of massage them you could actually if you're brave enough put them in a hot glass of water or microwave them but be careful okay uh, don't microwave them I take that back please don't um, but I've known people to do that I've heard people to do that um, and then this is another spray um, water bottle so those go in there. That's all that's in there. In this one, I've got some artist trading cards. Now, these were like $2.49 each. So for a while, oh boy, I'm going back now. Um, so in each one of these, this one for the sort of pack, you've got vellum, bristles, smooth bristle, canvas, textured, whatever. Uh, <laughs> watercolor, one sheet each, illustration board, and acrylic. And then this one is vellum surface. So um, yeah, it's essentially these are what they are. It, you meet up with artist friends and you just send a little card. So it's not expensive to send in the mail. Now for a long time, this was my paint set here. And this one I got off of, I believe AliExpress. I put this bubble thing in here and I gave one to my daughter the exact set because it drove me crazy that the pans kind of did that. This one is a new one. I gave her my old one. <laughs> so I haven't touched this one yet. I think, do I have another one in there? Yeah, no, she, she took my other one. So I just simply moved that in there. These are called half pans. This is a really good set. Um, and the um, I'm using a smaller one right now, which I have over by my sink, which is exactly like to there, um, which is um, a 12 set pan. But because I cleaned in between all of here with a Q-tip and whatnot, 
Um, it's over there by my sink. But this particular set uh, is my second one because my youngest daughter, of course, came along and she was like, oh, I like that. Um, where? I've got a pokey tool somewhere here. Come here, pokey tool. <gasps> Guess what I did with my pokey tool? I dropped all my beads. Dropped all my beads. So these brushes aren't the great. Gist. Sorry guys, I just have to. Grab up some of these little. There's always a mishap in my videos and it Oh, they rolled right under the carousel. So, okay. Forget it. I'll have to do that. So, essentially, it's a wooden dowel that fits on the dowel. This little plastic thing comes off. But the problem is I find it's cheap. It's really cheap. So, it's not my favorite, but you get what you pay for. And I think this set was like quite inexpensive. So, and then again, you just open it up and you use this area as a palette. Now what's hard about it is that you've got to really just get in here. You can't remove this section or any of those sections. But I, like I said, I just used an envelope with uh, the bubble stuff. I cut a piece in here so the pans don't rattle around. This is an art book in red. You got it. This is what I'm using for next year. It wasn't shown in my lineup, but because it's red, it will be. It's one of those books that have double sides. So it's quite long. So I believe there are, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 times two, because it's all on the back, is 36. So I wonder if I can get through that in a year. So that's in there. Then I also have these sketchbooks. Now, generally speaking with these sketchbooks, I, just checking, yeah, so um, these are samples. Um, I have bigger books of them, and when you buy bigger books of them, if you like, if you go to your art store, often they'll throw in these little sample books. So this one is, I've got two. And then this is uh, Create a Color. So I haven't opened that yet, but just three artist pencils. All right. Let's just get, I just have a notebook in here as well. I just uh, actually added this. Uh, there's the confounded bookmark. Um, because if I take this bag out and I wanna go say to a park or something, and I just wanna write down ideas of what to sketch, then I've got a book and a pen. This was a Dollar Tree, an old Dollar Tree book and pen. And here are some really good brushes. And I don't know where that came from at all. But these are some really good brushes. So I'll just show you one. So they're in these bullet type cases. They come out and they're like that. They are very good. and they have their own little case. So I can really simplify. So if I just wanted to take this and this, that's it, that's all I have to take. And say some water, because these aren't water pens, right? So if I took like this and threw it in there with some water, I could do it. I don't know where this guy came from though. You better stick him back on there. So this, pot. As you can see, I have swatched it. And 
My goodness, you're sticking. The pens. I forgot to put plastic. Silly girl. So this is the right set from Jane Davenport. And they're actually really good. Uh, that's where the, the foot came from. She's got feet on the bottom of this. And I will show you. I thought it was important. So it doesn't like roll around. This is my second pen from her. Um, I didn't have brights before. I had another color before. And then she came out with her bright palette. And I'm just trying to see now if I've got something that I can put temporarily. That's plastic in between. And I know I do. So just bear with me, guys. One thing about paints is that yeah. there we go. And that was just plastic packaging I had in my garbage can. But my garbage can's all just paper, guys. Okay, so these are um, aqua pastels which are really like crayons but they act these things are wonderful they act like paints and as you can see they've been used I've used them in art journaling quite a bit you don't need a whole lot uh, you add water to them and they just they're beautiful if you want to know more about Jean Davenport stuff um, some people really like it and some people really don't I happen to really like it but you can go on Jean Davenport's site and watch her her demonstrations on how she uses these and um, I've learned quite a bit of art skills from her. Okay, what's left in here? There's four inner pockets. There is a cheapy uni stick, <laughs> glue stick. Um, what's down here? The top of a paint pen. Is there a bottom? Yeah. There we go. No. Oh, I see that. That must come off. That comes off and then screws onto here. No, does it? Oh, it screws backwards. So, yeah. So this one was a little bit different. I think this is meant for left hand. And I'm pretty sure because my youngest daughter is left hand and she paints left handed. So. Actually, I think she paints right-handed like I do, too. And then I've shown you those. So there's literally like pockets all the way around. And then there's a zipper here, which I just leave open. And in this zipper is just paint instructions that come with the kit. So it's quite, you know, it could be like for a purse. It could be for anything, but it's huge. It's massive. You see? Yeah, it's absolutely massive. So that is what is in my current paint um, artist bag. And I will be showing you more of what I do with this stuff in the future. But for now, this was just and simple show and tell, something a little bit different than um, planners for once, you know, <laughs> it's sort of a what's in your bag, but what's in my art bag, what's in my painting bag, and um, sorry that I don't get to, I do have other things that go with, you know, like, um, like different pens that I have in here, I've just organized them, different pens that I have here. I do have like more of a Jane, a Jane Davenport collection, but we'll do that another time. So folks, that is everything from me. I hope you have a beautiful morning.
Remember, we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. And I will see you later. Bye for now, everyone.